Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. Even wonderful now since I have somewhat of a cold, so you're going to have to kind of bear with me a little bit if you want to or not because my sinuses are kind of plugged up a little bit and I might sound a little different. Um, send a wife out for a week vacation with the kid and instead of bringing me a t-shirt, they brought me a cold. So, anyways. So this is a comment in... Terry 3G's last video that he didn't want you guys to see. He deleted it and probably blocked the person who made the comment as well since there's a little thing going on between Terry 3G's and this person here. So wherever Mr. 3G's go, he's making friends. Isn't that nice? Good for you, Terry 3G's. So I hope the person who made this video uh, is also the person who commented on Terry's last video that Terry didn't want you to see the comment, so he, I'm sure he deleted it and blocked the sender. Uh, but this is what the video, this is what the comment is about in video form. Hi there, I'm Nerf Gorilla, and I talk pretty fast. Compared to this guy, Terry 3GS, he's a guy on YouTube who mocked me today in a stream with another person named GLM Show. Uh, in this video right here, yes, I called the police, Bubbles, hate crimes are a very big deal idiot. GLM made this video about me, kind of, and in it, this Terry guy shows up. And there he is right there, Terry 3GS, shows up in her stream or whatever. So first off, let's see who this channel belongs to as far as the one that Terry 3G's is in the live hangout with. Oh, here we go. Look at this. She promotes Terry 3G's. Uh, this is probably somebody who Terry 3G's thinks that he has an online love relationship with, uh, considering that he thinks he has a love relationship with everybody that he meets online. And uh, I never seen the guy. Well, I think I've seen the guy before, but I never watched any of his videos or anything. And uh, that's him. Here's a video. So I clicked a video that he made in 2021 called Terry 3G's live stream. Let's configure a few PCs. Well, because I like computers, I kind of know what I'm talking about when I talk about computers. I uh, I looked it up, and nine minutes in. In this fucking video, he finally starts talking about computers. Um, so I, I took some notes here, Terry. I don't. You probably don't give a shit. That's fine. But there's a reason why I say the things that I do. I'll tell you a quick uh, what what how it happened during this stream, or maybe was it this stream? I don't know if it was this stream or another one, but or no, I think it was Tammy's. I showed up in Tammy's chat. I was backstage or whatever in the stream yard. And I was waiting to get into the ring with these guys. There was four of them. And uh, they didn't let me in, but I was typing and they could all read what I was typing in the backstage thing. So um, I said, the internet is not real life. That's what I said. And Terry talked shit about that. He mocked me on that statement that I said, the internet is not real life. It's separate. So... For some reason, he mocked me, and here's the audio of him mocking me. Oh, don't don't forget, it's it's the internet, so it's not okay. real. So so nerve serious. gorilla can't actually be threatening you or showing guns. Oh no, he, he's definitely threatening me, and he also threatened <laughs> uh, J Rock. Yeah, I know. Well, I I didn't. So, in other words, you could tell by his tone that he thinks that I'm actually fucking wrong, despite my whole history of being right all the fucking time, he actually thinks that he's right and I'm wrong on that statement. Let's go, dude. So anyway, I clicked this video and I wanted to see if he knew anything about computers. And dude, like during the first like three minutes of his video, he's sitting there adjusting audio levels. Put this in, make it a little bit up. You're the stream. Off a teeny weeny bit. Dude, and, and though he spends all that fucking time, the audio is so fucking quiet. L let me put the gain back down to uh, zero dB or close to it. You can barely hear it. It's so quiet. All that time you spent modifying your audio and it's fucking quiet. I'm on a computer 
with a really loud amp, and I have your gain set to fucking 10, and it's still not quite loud enough. I believe kind of based on... This is 100% with 10 fucking audio gain. Let me show you what volume looks like. Hear it getting louder very slowly. Now we're barely loud. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, blow your ears out. But that's how you adjust audio, audio boy. So, like, right away he's fucking just stupid. All right, let me jump to nine minutes in. I haven't watched this whole video. I'm not intending to. I'm on my work break, but... He said a couple things that really fucking ticked me off, dude. Like, right away, in the first fucking video I clicked, he has misinformation in the first five minutes or so. He even doubles down on the inf information and repeats it. The biggest problem... And I'll make this very clear right here with Intel and AMD. Or, sorry, Intel and Apple. Intel and Apple, huh? Intel and Apple. Is that they are pretty much... They give us, the consumer, or in, in this case, you, the consumer, not the overall control of your product. Now, that said... If all you care about is hitting a button and something turns on, then sure, you uh, won't have any issues in that regard to... Uh... Dude, the guy talks way too fucking slow. Get to it, asshole. So anyway, Intel and Apple. Intel doesn't make operating systems. Intel is a hardware vendor, dude. What do they have to do with control? Intel is actually... One of the best fucking vendors there is, especially for network cards and CPUs. Hi, dude. What are you talking about, Intel? Did you mean Microsoft and Apple? Like, because you said Intel twice. You already fucking blew it. Anyway, I'm going to get to my fucking point. I can give dozens of examples. I This is an open challenge, of course, to this guy, Terry3GS. If you currently think that I'm wrong and hold steadfast to thinking that I'm wrong about that statement about the internet not being real life. I challenge you, yep, you guessed it, to voice chat. Let's hash it out, man. Let, I want somebody who thinks I'm wrong about something to come and take me on, dude. That's what you're supposed to do in society. You don't just say somebody's wrong and then fucking run away. That's not how you fucking get to any the bottom of anything. <laughs> now that's funny. The only thing that Terry gets to the bottom of is a bag of chips. Anyways, he doesn't know Terry 3G's very well, does he? Terry 3G's thing for the past, I don't know how many fucking years as far as knowing this guy, was always putting his tail between his legs and backing down. Or playing the victim when things turned around and bit him in the ass when he opened up his mouth. Um... I could give dozens, just off the top of my head, I could give dozens of example examples how the internet is not real fucking life. One example, and you're not going to like this, Terry, and you're not going to like this, Tammy Hess, and, you know, GLM, and all those, that, that group of weird fucking people, because they all think the internet is real life for some reason. I, it seems that way. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but it seems that way. Let me tell you one fucking perfect example, dude. I could, on my website, I could take a picture of GLM's face... And I could literally masturbate into orgasm all over her picture in a video on my website while saying her name, her real name. Well, dude, from looking at Terry 3G's past Twitter account, he is bisexual, okay? So he may like what you're doing as far as what you're explaining right now. And, uh, yeah, uh, I wouldn't put it past him. That might be a challenge that he's up for. I could expose myself in video, on the internet, on my website, nude from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet, totally fucking nude. I could show everything, X-rated. You can't do that in real life to somebody. That's called, you know, you'd go to jail. <laughs> Indecent exposure, right? I mean, to say the least. But you could do that on the internet. I just, I just prove, that's just, that's one example of many I could give you. The internet's not fucking real life, you idiots. I can expose my genitals to you on the internet and not get arrested for it. Do you understand, you dumb fucking loser? You want to fucking question oh, me? Oh, don't, don't forget, it's, it's the internet, so it's not real, so... Yeah, yeah, so the internet's different. 
Can you get arrested for threatening the president on the, uh, of the United States, which is a violation of federal law on the internet? Yeah, of course you can. People have been arrested for that before. But it's still not real life. It's still different. You have many more freedoms on the internet. You can actually speak with encryption over the internet. You can't do that over a regular phone line, a landline, or even your regular cell phone. You have to use the internet to get in encrypted communication. Uh, I could give several examples. I want you to come and take me on, dude. I'm going to save the rest for an actual debate. If you think I'm wrong, you fucking weird-ass looking weirdo. The guy is a, a pear-shaped person, and he fucking looks like a geek, but he doesn't know anything about what he's talking about. Like, I'm 10 minutes into his video, and the guy's got shit wrong already. He Like, I can't even finish the video. If I do, you know, steam will fucking come out of my goddamn ears in a tidal wave. Just hearing him how fucking wrong he is out of the gate. So, dude, anyway, um, come and take me on. And let's see. Like, come and mock me in voice, dude, and tell me that the internet is real life then. You fucking weird ass.